Hello and welcome to the DreamRise channel, your one-stop source for insightful content. Here at DreamRise, we are dedicated to delivering you a wealth of knowledge, inspiration, and tools to help you reach your personal and professional potential. Today, we are focusing on a gem of leadership literature, the book Rare Leadership in the Workplace. This book is a powerful resource that explores the essential qualities of exceptional leaders and how you can cultivate these traits in your own life. It's packed with practical wisdom and transformative insights that can change the way you lead and live. But don't worry, we won't spoil all the surprises just yet. We're merely setting the stage for a deep dive into the principles that can help you become a rare and remarkable leader. So brace yourself for an enlightening journey into the world of leadership. Stay tuned as we delve into the first key concept of this enlightening book. Rare Leadership in the Workplace presents four key elements that are essential for effective leadership. These elements form a unique blend of qualities that set rare leaders apart from the crowd. They are the cornerstones of a leadership style that's not only effective, but also nurturing and empowering for all those involved. The first element is the ability to remain relational. This means that no matter the circumstances, a rare leader stays connected with their team. They maintain open communication and nurture relationships, understanding that the strength of their leadership lies in the strength of these relationships. It's about fostering a sense of camaraderie and unity, even when the going gets tough. Next is the ability to act like yourself. This is all about authenticity. Rare leaders are genuine in their actions and words. They don't put on a facade or try to be someone they're not. They understand that their unique blend of skills, experiences, and personal characteristics is their greatest asset. They are comfortable in their own skin, and this authenticity resonates with their team. Thirdly, we have returned to joy. This is the capacity to maintain or regain a sense of joy and satisfaction, even in the midst of challenges or setbacks. Rare leaders understand that joy fuels creativity, productivity, and resilience. They cultivate a positive environment where joy is valued and encouraged. Lastly, rare leaders know how to endure hardship well. They recognize that challenges and setbacks are part of the journey. Instead of shying away from them, they face them head on with courage and determination. They see these hardships as opportunities for growth and learning, and they guide their team through them with grace and resilience. These four elements, remain relational, act like yourself, return to joy and endure hardship well, form the bedrock of rare leadership. They're the qualities that set rare leaders apart and enable them to inspire, motivate, and guide their teams toward success. Now that we've got a grasp on these elements, let's explore them in more detail. The first element, remain relational, underscores the importance of maintaining relationships. Imagine a world where every interaction is transactional, devoid of any personal touch. It feels cold, doesn't it? This is why remaining relational is crucial for any leader. It's about fostering a sense of connection and community, not just completing tasks or achieving goals. Now you might wonder, what does it mean to remain relational? It's about maintaining open lines of communication, understanding the needs and feelings of others, and respecting their perspectives. It's about creating an environment where everyone feels valued and heard. As a leader, it's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of responsibilities and lose sight of the people around us. But remember, it's these very people who make the magic happen, they are the ones who bring your vision to life. So how can leaders foster positive relationships within their teams? Firstly, show genuine interest in your team members. Ask about their day, their interests, and their aspirations. Show empathy when they're going through tough times. This makes them feel seen and valued, and it helps build trust. Secondly, communicate openly and honestly. Transparency fosters trust and reduces uncertainty. It also encourages team members to voice their own thoughts and ideas fostering a culture of innovation and collaboration. Lastly, appreciate and acknowledge. A simple thank you or well done can go a long way in boosting morale and productivity. Recognition not only validates their efforts, but also motivates them to push their boundaries and strive for excellence. Why is this important, you may ask? Well, when people feel valued and connected, they are more engaged, more productive, and more likely to stay with the organization. They're also more likely to go the extra mile because they know they're working towards a common goal and their efforts are appreciated. Remember, as a leader, you're not just managing tasks or projects, you're managing relationships. And these relationships are the bedrock of successful leadership. Relationships are the bedrock of successful leadership. Now let's move on to the next element. The second element, act like yourself, encourages leaders to be authentic. 
Now, what does it mean to be authentic? It's simply about being true to yourself, embracing your individuality and unique perspective. It's about not putting on a facade or trying to live up to an idealized version of what a leader should be. Authenticity is being genuine, being real, being you. In the realm of leadership, authenticity carries immense weight. It's not just about the leader's self-perception, but also about how they are perceived by their team. When leaders are authentic, they are seen as more trustworthy and reliable. They are not playing a role or wearing a mask, but rather being their genuine selves. This transparency creates a sense of trust, which is crucial for effective leadership. Imagine working under a leader who pretends to be someone they're not, someone who's constantly trying to impress or act in a way that's not natural to them. It's disconcerting, isn't it? It's hard to trust someone when you can't figure out who they truly are. On the other hand, a leader who is authentic, who is comfortable in their own skin, and who is honest about their strengths and weaknesses is a leader you can trust and respect. Authentic leaders inspire and empower. They create an environment where team members feel safe to be themselves, to express their thoughts and ideas without fear. They foster a culture of openness and honesty, which leads to better communication, collaboration, and ultimately, better results. So leaders, don't be afraid to be yourselves. Your authenticity is your strength. It's what sets you apart. It's what makes you you, and it's what makes your leadership rare. In the words of Oscar Wilde, be yourself, everyone else has already taken. So act like yourself, lead as yourself, and inspire others to do the same. Remember, your authenticity is not just about you. It's about the impact you have on your team and the culture you create. Authenticity and leadership breeds trust and respect. Let's discuss the next element. The third element, return to joy, emphasizes the necessity of finding joy in work. You've heard it said, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. But what if we flip that on its head? What if we could learn to find joy in the work we do, regardless of what it is? That's the essence of return to joy. It's not just about finding work that makes us happy, but about finding happiness in our work. Joy isn't just an emotion, it's a state of being. It's an energy that can fuel us, drive us, and lead us to greater success. It's a sense of fulfillment that goes beyond the surface level of happiness. It's about finding meaning and purpose in what we do. And that's something every leader should strive for in their work environment. So, how can leaders cultivate a joyous work environment? It starts with a shift in perspective. Instead of viewing work as a necessary evil, we can choose to see it as a platform for growth, discovery, and achievement. This shift in mindset can make a world of difference in how we approach our work and how we lead others. Next, we need to create an atmosphere that encourages joy. This could mean different things for different people, but it often involves fostering a sense of community, promoting creativity, and recognizing each individual's contributions. A joyful work environment is one where everyone feels valued and heard. Why is this beneficial? Well, studies have shown that a joyful work environment leads to increased productivity, improved employee satisfaction, and reduced turnover. When people are happy at work, they are more likely to stay, and they're more likely to perform at their best. Plus, joy is contagious. When one person is joyful, it can spread to others, creating a positive ripple effect throughout the entire organization. Creating a joyous work environment is essential for productivity and satisfaction. Now let's look at the final element. The final element, endure hardship well, highlights the importance of resilience in leadership. This is where we dive into the heart of what it means to be a leader, who not only survives during challenging times, but thrives. Enduring hardship is a concept we're all familiar with. It's about navigating through the storm, not just waiting for it to pass. It's about facing obstacles head on, not evading them. It's about standing firm when everything else seems to be falling apart. But what does it look like in the realm of leadership? Leaders who endure hardship well have a unique blend of grit and grace. Grit is that tenacity, that resolve that keeps them going even when the going gets tough. It's the refusal to give up, the determination to keep pushing forward no matter what. Grace, on the other hand, is the ability to handle adversity with poise and dignity. It's about maintaining a positive attitude, treating others with respect, and staying true to your values even when under pressure. But why is this so crucial? Well, resilience in leadership has a ripple effect. When a leader demonstrates resilience, it inspires others to do the same. It creates an environment where setbacks are seen not as insurmountable obstacles, but as opportunities for growth and learning. It fosters a culture of determination and perseverance. Moreover, a resilient leader is a reliable leader. They instill trust and confidence in their team because they show that they can handle the heat. They prove that they can weather the storm and come out stronger on the other side. 
So how can you as a leader endure hardship well? Start by embracing challenges as opportunities for growth. Maintain a positive attitude even when things don't go as planned. Stay true to your values even when it's hard. And most importantly, never give up. Resilience isn't something that's developed overnight. It's a muscle that needs to be exercised, a skill that needs to be honed. But with time and practice, you can become a leader who not only endures hardship well, but uses it as a catalyst for growth and transformation. Resilience in leadership fosters a culture of determination and perseverance. Now let's wrap things up. We've covered the four key elements of rare leadership in the workplace. In a world that's constantly changing, we can all agree that effective leadership is not only about making decisions and setting goals. It goes beyond that. It involves creating an environment where people feel valued, where they can express themselves, and where they can grow both personally and professionally. This is precisely what rare leadership in the workplace is all about. We delved into the first element, which is to remain relational. This means maintaining a healthy connection with your team members, not just in good times, but also in times of conflict or stress. It's about understanding their needs, their aspirations, and their concerns. Then we discuss the importance of acting like yourself. Authenticity is key in leadership. People respect and trust leaders who are true to themselves and who lead by example. It's about being the real you, not a version of someone else's expectations. We also explored the concept of returning to joy. This isn't about ignoring the challenges or pretending everything is perfect. It's about finding joy in what we do and spreading that joy within the team. It's about celebrating small victories and appreciating the journey, not just the destination. Lastly, we touched on the idea of enduring hardship well. Leadership often comes with challenges and hardships, but it's how we navigate through these tough times that defines us as leaders. It's about maintaining optimism and resilience even when the going gets tough. Each of these elements is a crucial part of being a rare leader. It's about fostering relationships, being authentic, spreading joy, and navigating through hardships with grace and resilience. It's about creating a workplace where everyone feels valued and inspired to do their best. Thank you for joining us on this journey through rare leadership in the workplace. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to DreamRise channel for more insightful content. Until next time, keep leading with courage and authenticity.